I'm Rebecca, and in this film, we're going to look at how we can use the Gategno chart to build understanding in place value. A Gategno chart looks like this. It has ones along the bottom, then tens, then hundreds. It can be extended to go up into thousands and tens of thousands and further, or it can go down into decimal numbers. To use the chart, you could start off by beginning with just some simple counting, counting in ones, counting in tens, or counting in hundreds. Then you can move on to pointing to different parts of the chart and asking pupils to write the number that they have made and to say it. For example, if I point to 10 and 1, pupils would need to say 11. You could move on to three-digit numbers. For example, if I point to 500 and 60 and 7, they would then need to say the number 567. You can use the chart to explore what happens when you cross a tens boundary. If I point to 800 and then 80 and 9, then children would need to say 889. And you can challenge them to say, well, what would happen? What's the next number in the sequence? What happens if I add one more? Moving on, we can look at this chart, which moves into decimals. And we can use this to teach children how to say decimal numbers. I could point to 4, 0 0.5, and 0 0.06. And pupils would need to say the number 4.56. If I pointed to the number 2,000 and then 30 and then 4, pupils would say the number 2,000 and 34. And it's a really good way of exploring what happens when zero is a placeholder in the middle of a number. You can use the chart to explore what happens when you move up the chart and down it. Pupils can see that the number gets 10 times bigger as you go up and 10 times smaller as you go down. You can explore what happens when you move to the left or move to the right of the number. There's lots of different patterns to spot here, and each row will have a different pattern on it. So there you go. There's just a few ideas for how you can use this chart to explore place value.